a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. RT TV Network RT is a Russian international television network funded by the Russian government. It operates cable and satellite television channels directed to audiences outside of Russia, as well as providing internet content in various languages, including English, Spanish, and Russian. RT International, based in Moscow, presents around-the-clock news bulletins, documentaries, talk shows, debates, sports news, and cultural programs that it says provide a Russian viewpoint on major global events. RT operates as a multilingual service, with conventional channels in three languages. The original English language channel was launched in 2005, the Arabic language channel in 2007, and the Spanish language channel in 2009. RT America and RT UK offer some locally based content for those countries. It was announced that in December 2017, a French language channel will be launched. RT is a brand of TV Novosti, an autonomous non-profit organization, founded by the Russian news agency, RIA Novosti. On 6 April 2005, during the economic crisis in December 2008, the Russian government, headed by Prime Minister Vladimir Putin, included Anyo TV Novosti on its list of core organizations of strategic importance of Russia. RT has been frequently described as a propaganda outlet for the Russian government and its foreign policy. RT has also been accused of spreading disinformation by news reporters, including some former RT reporters. The United Kingdom media regulator, Ofcom, has repeatedly found RT to have breached rules on impartiality and of broadcasting materially misleading content. On 13 November 2017, RT America officially registered as a foreign agent with the United States Department of Justice under the Foreign Agents Registration Act. Under the Act, RT will be required to disclose financial information. Foundation The creation of RT was a part of a larger public relations effort by the Russian government in 2005 that was intended to improve the image of Russia abroad. RT was conceived by former media minister Mikhail Lezin and Russian President Vladimir Putin's press spokesperson Alexei Gromov. At the time of RT's founding, RIA Novosti director Svetlana Miranyuk stated, Unfortunately, at the level of mass consciousness in the West, Russia is associated with three words, communism, snow and poverty, and added, We would like to present a more complete picture of life in our country. It is registered as an autonomous non-profit organization funded by the federal budget of Russia through the Federal Agency on Press and Mass Communications of the Russian Federation. In 2005, RIA Novosti helped establish Anyo TV Novosti to serve as the parent organization for the planned channel. Anyo TV Novosti was registered on 6 April 2005. Anyo TV Novosti appointed Sergei Frolov as its CEO position. The channel was launched as Russia Today on 10 December 2005. At its launch, the channel employed 300 journalists, including approximately 70 from outside Russia. Russia Today appointed Margarita Simonian as its editor-in-chief, who recruited foreign journalists as presenters and consultants. Simonian stated that the channel's intent was to have a professional format, akin to the BBC and Euro News that would reflect Russia's opinion of the world and present a more balanced picture of Russia. Simonian, who was only 25 years old at the time of her hiring by the channel, was a former Kremlin pool reporter and had worked in journalism since she was 18. She told the New York Times that after the fall of the Soviet Union, many new young journalists were hired resulting in a much younger pool of staffers than other news organizations. Journalist Danny Schechter has stated that having been part of the launch staff at CNN, he saw RT as another channel of young people who are inexperienced, but very enthusiastic about what they are doing. Shortly after the channel was launched, James Painter wrote that RT and similar news channels such as France 24 and Telezur saw themselves as county hegemonic offering a differing vision and news content from that of Western media like the CNN and the BBC. Development and Expansion RT launched several new channels in ensuing years, the Arabic-language channel Raya Aliyah Um in 2007, 
the Spanish language channel Arte Actualidad in 2009, Arte America which focuses on the United States in 2010, and the Arte documentary channel in 2011. In August 2007, Russia Today became the first television channel to report live from the North Pole, an RT crew participated in the Arctica 2007 Russian Polar Expedition, led by Artur Chilingarov on the Akademik Fyodorov Icebreaker. On 31 December 2007, RT's broadcasts of New Year's Eve celebrations in Moscow and St. Petersburg were broadcast in the hours prior to the New Year's Eve event at New York City's Times Square. RT drew particular attention worldwide for its coverage of the 2008 South Ossetia War. RT named Georgia as the aggressor against the separatist governments of South Ossetia and Abkhazia, which were protected by Russian troops. RT saw this as the incident that showcased its news-gathering abilities to the world. Margarita Simonian stated, We were the only ones among the English-language media who were giving the other side of the story the South Ossetian side of the story. In 2009, Russia Today rebranded itself to simply the RT initials. Simonian denied that the name change was an attempt to hide its Russian origins, stating the corporate logo was changed to attract more viewers and commenting, who is interested in watching news from Russia all day long. In early 2010, RT unveiled a highly controversial advertising campaign called Question More, which was created for the channel by Britain-based McCann Erickson. One of the advertisements featured as part of the campaign showed President of the United States Barack Obama, morphing into Iranian leader Mahmoud Ahmadinejad and asked, who poses the greatest nuclear threat? The ad was banned in American airports. Another showed a Western soldier, merging into a Taliban fighter and asks, is terror only inflicted by terrorists? One of RT's 2010 billboard advertisements won the British Awards for National Newspaper Advertising, Ad of the Month. RT is one of several international channels to challenge the United States media's global news coverage. In 2010 Walter Isaacson, chairman of the U.S. government's Broadcasting Board of Governors, called for more money to invest into the programs because, we can't allow ourselves to be outcommunicated by our enemies, mentioning specifically Russia Today, Iran's Press TV, and China's China Central Television in the next sentence. He later explained he actually was referring to enemies in Afghanistan, not the nations he mentioned. In 2011, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton stated that the United States was losing the information war abroad to foreign channels like RT. Al Jazeera and China Central Television and that they are supplanting the voice of America. Since 2012 In early 2012, shortly after his appointment as the United States Ambassador to Russia, Michael McFaul challenged Margarita Simonian on Twitter, regarding allegations from RT that he sent Alexei Navalny to study at Yale University. According to RT, McFowl was referring to a comment in an article by political scientist Igor Panarin, which RT had specified were the views of the author. McFowl then accepted an interview by Sophie Shevardnadze on RT on this and other issues and reasserted that the Obama administration wanted a reset in relations with Russia. On 17 April 2012, RT debuted World Tomorrow, a news interview program hosted by WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange. The first guest on the program was Hezbollah leader Hussein Nasrallah. The interview made global headlines as Nasrallah rarely gives interviews to Western media. Commentators described this as a coup or a scoop. WikiLeaks described the show as a series of in-depth conversations with key political players, thinkers and revolutionaries from around the world. It stated that the show is independently produced and Assange has control. WikiLeaks offers a broadcaster's license only. Assange said that RT would allow his guests to discuss things that they could not say on a mainstream TV network. Assange said that if WikiLeaks had published Russian data, his relationship with RT might not have been so comfortable. In August of that year, RT suffered a denial-of-service attack for several days by a group calling itself Antileaks. It was speculated that the group was protesting Assange and or Russia's jailing of members of the activist music group Pussy Riot. On 23 October 2012, RT, along with Al Jazeera and C-SPAN, broadcast the Free and Equal Elections Foundation third-party debate among four third-party candidates for President of the United States. On 5 November, 
RT broadcast the two candidates that were voted winners of that debate, Libertarian Party candidate Governor Gary Johnson, and the Green Party of the United States candidate Jill Stein from RT's Washington, D.C. studio. In November 2012, Israeli Defense Force bombs severely damaged RT's offices in Gaza City, wounding four journalists. During Operation Pillar of Defense, the office was right next to that of the Israeli target, Al-Aqsa TV, a television station that was affiliated with the Palestinian militant group Hamas. In May 2013, RT announced that former CNN host Larry King would host a new talk show on RT. King said in an advertisement on RT, I would rather ask questions to people in positions of power, instead of speaking on their behalf. As part of the deal, King would also bring his Hulu series, Larry King Now, to RT. On 13 June 2013, RT aired a preview telecast of King's new Thursday evening program Politicking, with the episode discussing Edward Snowden's leaking of the PRISM surveillance program. Vladimir Putin visited the new RT Broadcasting Center in June 2013 and stated, When we designed this project back in 2005 we intended introducing another strong player on the international scene. A player that wouldn't just provide an unbiased coverage of the events in Russia, but also try, let me stress, I mean try, to break the Anglo-Saxon monopoly on the global information streams. We wanted to bring an absolutely independent news channel to the news arena. Certainly the channel is funded by the government, so it cannot help, but reflect the Russian government's official position on the events in our country and in the rest of the world one way or another. But I'd like to underline again that we never intended this channel, RT, as any kind of apologetics for the Russian political line, whether domestic or foreign. In early October 2014, RT announced the launch of a dedicated news channel, RT UK, aimed at British audiences. The new channel began operating on 30 October 2014. Organization State-owned Rio Novosti News Agency, which founded RT in 2005, is one of the largest in Russia. Its chairperson is Svetlana Mironyuk, who has modernized the agency since her appointment in 2003. Rio Novosti has stated it helped establish RT, but is neither a sponsor nor a backer of Russia today. Mikhail Seslavinsky, in charge of the Federal Agency on Press and Mass Communications of the Russian Federation asserted in 2005 that, Russia Today will come as an independent company. Under Russian law RT is an independent organization. In 2007, RT established offices in the same building as RIA Novosti, after the Russian Union of Journalists was forced to vacate them. In 2012 Anna Kakayeva, Dean of Media Communications, at Moscow's Higher School of Economics, stated that they, share the same roof, because the two organizations are located in the same building. But regarding, funding, editorial policy, management and staff, they are two independent organizations whose daily operations are not interconnected in any way. In 2008, Simonian noted that more than 50 young RT journalists had gone on to take positions in large Western media outlets. By 2010, RT had grown to a staff of 2,000. In December 2012, RT moved its production studios and headquarters to a new facility in Moscow. The move coincided with RT's upgrade of all of its English-language news programming to high definition. In 2013, a presidential decree issued by Vladimir Putin dissolved RIA Novosti and subsumed it into a new information agency called Rossiya Sagodnia. According to a report on the RT website, the new news agency is in no way related to the news channel RT despite the similarity to RT's original name. However, on 31 December 2013, Margarita Simonian, editor-in-chief of the RT news channel, was also appointed as editor-in-chief of the new news agency while maintaining her duties for the television network. RT cooperates with a number of media sources in Russia and abroad, including private media like Izvestia, Commerçant, Trud, Nezava Samaya Gazeta, Veda Mosti, Argument I Fakti and the Non-Russian Association for International Broadcasting, Huffington Post, and News.com.au. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?